Hey guys, Nick here with another video. Today we have a pretty quick video. Uh, Google has removed uBlock Origin from the Chrome Web Store. This is part of their transition to Manifest V3, and uBlock uses Manifest V2. Uh, Google has also gone ahead and started disabling this extension for people who already had it installed, which that's nice that they can just decide that you can't use a piece of software anymore. But I'm gonna show you how to get it back. So what we need to do is in our address bar, type chrome colon slash slash oops, flags. And it's gonna warn us about experimental features, that's fine. And what we want to search for here is allow legacy extension manifest versions. And you can see I've already enabled it. By default, it's set to default. You wanna click enabled. When you do this, it's gonna ask you to restart Chrome. You can go ahead and do that. And then, next thing you want to do is go to this GitHub. This is Gore Hill, the developer of uBlock Origins uh, GitHub page. And I'll put this link in the description. Go here, scroll down on the current release, assets, chromium.zip. It'll download. Once it's downloaded, you can extract it. And for some reason, this download is going slow. I guess GitHub is just being slow extract it. You can just extract it within your downloads folder or you can put it someplace else. Once you've done that, you want to go to chrome colon slash slash extensions. Toggle on developer mode. Say load unpacked. And then navigate to the folder where you have it downloaded. Drill into that till you get to where you can see lib, web accessible resources, JavaScript, all of this. Click select folder and it will load right in. And then you now have it available in your extensions and it will continue to work. That's it, make sure you leave a like on this video, leave comments down below with questions, check out the affiliate Amazon links in the description. They really do help out the channel. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one.